Hello everyone. I have been using this Nikon Monarch binoculars for many years, around 10 years, for deer hunting to identify it is a deer, to make it sure it is a deer after spotting the black dot on the pasture or on the snowy slope from my car. You know, for the purpose, I relief, long I relief is necessary because I wear the glasses and uh, wide visual field is necessary. Therefore, I use magnification 8. 10 is too high to uh, sight in the target in it. 8 is just right. Magnifies 8, I mean. And uh, this, this 6.3 degree visual field is just right. Natural. Visual field, I can see all the area to the edge, very sharp. The full area is completely plain. No, uh, what to say, deformity, no deformity, you know, very plain. But I recently purchased this new model, issued this last uh, May, around that. June Monarch 5 This surface texture is better traction and this shapes takes my finger better uh, better ergonomics it has and uh, you know this has takes new technology two one ED lens ED lens does not make a rainbow I mean older spectrum um, refract refract I'm sorry refract through the lens at the same angle Therefore, the edge, uh, object edge, is very sharp, no rainbow at all. One line comes to the eye, one line, not rainbow. So, the uh, object can be seen very clearly twice as clear as this regular lens and the second point is this prism you know this short length straight line binoculars needs prism in there regularly prism um, reflect the light completely without a mirror that is a theory taken in the grass fiber uh, transmission from Japan to America uh, under the sea grass fiber cable transmit the huge data instantly using this 100% grass fiber reflection same but uh, this straight line, light kinking, needs 
one single surface where 100 light reflection does not happen. For the surface, this binocular needs mirror attaching, mirror coating, mirror coating, not uh, multi coating of the lens, but a mirror coating, reflection coating, one single surface. That determines the brightness of the binoculars. This coating is super excellent, 100% reflection. This is not. Therefore, twice as brighter, and as I said, twice as sharper, and twice as vivid in color because of this ED lens. I quite often um, visited my favorite um, camera shop and actually viewed alternately. And in the shop, they have Monarch 7 as well, and three binoculars many times, three times before the purchase. And I decided to purchase this one. First, I'd like to explain why I purchased this one over this one. Even if I already had this regular Monarch, same performance as you can see, as you can read. 8 by 42, 6.3 degrees, but actual vision is very different. I'd like to show you using this one. And after that, I'd like to explain why I chose this Monarch 5 over Monarch 7. Monarch 7 has 8 degree visual area for this magnifies 8. 8 degrees, same magnification and too wide. This area, like this, Monarch 7 area, like this, this peripheral area is distortion, uh, deformity, not plain. You know, it is very tough, almost difficult to make such a wide area to these micro uh, binoculars. Therefore, Nikon takes, all the binocular company takes uh, compromise to make the area distortion. You can see it. Uh, to these binoculars, 7.5 degree angle and magnifies 8, a bit smaller diameter and lighter, therefore I use this one to carry around in the mountain or on the pasture. Wide area light always has peripheral distortion, which is very annoying when I search around for a deer or a bird. The formed area moves in my eyes, which makes me dizziness or vertigo. Makes me sick. No good. You know, this wide area is no good to move, but in a dim situation, like uh, before dawn or near sunset, in the border, on the border of the pasture, dizziness uh, doesn't happen because it's not bright. But in the bright situation, it happens, dizziness happens. As I said, in a dim situation, like uh, Mm, astronomy situation, dark situation, dizziness will not happen, will never happen. But in bright situation, wide area, uh, 
binoculars makes me sick. Anyway, first let's compare the optical difference, not area difference. Optical performance, U1 is brighter and color rendering is more vivid and edge is sharper, object edge is sharper and this six point degree visual field visual field edge is also sharper you can see it i mean visual area edge is sharper than this wide type binoculars first let's compare these two uh, binoculars i set this camera setting manual manual focus and uh, manual uh, brightness first comparison is this new monarch 5 and old monarch first new monarch 5 As you can see, the visual field is very sharp. And to the edge, focus is very sharp. Very comfortable view. And please remember this color rendering old monarch focus looks as sharp but uh, a bit darker and uh, how about color new one much brighter old one new one this difference next comparison is monarch 5 6.3 degree angle and uh, koa uh, 7.5 wide degree angle Okay. Please watch the number carefully. 14 and 21. 13 and 20. Focus is continuously sharp from the center to the edge. Next, wide area binoculars, Koa. This video cam cannot take fold the area. So let's focus to the right side. Okay. Please look at the number. Uh, 14 and 21 going to the edge the focus is getting uh, not sure getting worse and the shape is narrower 13 and uh, 20 You know, as we move the visual field, this side uh, deformity issue happens always. This is uh, this wide uh, binoculars compromise. No good. I think Nikon is promoting Monarch Seven 
wide visual field binoculars over this regular Monarch 5 6.53 degree visual field. This is the right visual field and I believe it's longer than Monarch 7, 90 mil. As I showed, using these binoculars, Monarch 7 is the same as this one. The peripheral area is not focused very well and uh, kind of distortion there, which makes us dizziness, makes us sick. Unless we are an uh, astronomer, so we should not take the promotion of Nikon for the Monarch 7. We should get Monarch 5 for our health, you know. No sick. Monarch 7 is sick. I want to say this issue. That's all. Monarch 5. This is the best binoculars available in Japan so far. Okay. See you. Bye-bye.